Hi, I'm uh, Shaila Rashid. I'm here at the India Today Conclave 2017 to uh, speak at a panel on student politics. And uh, this is my co-panelist. Hi, Adab. I'm Sabika. And uh, same, I'm here to uh, have a conversation about student politics and especially women involvement in uh, student politics, uh, the angle to that. So we're going to have a conversation about that. Um, Prerna here has asked a very uh, thought-provoking question. She has asked if there is uh, too much interference of political parties in campus politics today in the sense that uh, there's a students issue going on and uh, you have politicians coming to campus and you know uh, a lot of politicization of issues as, as she puts it uh, my take on the issue is um, that uh, during uh, you know during the occupy UGC movement which was uh, a three month long movement which went uh, on for fellowships etc uh, while we were having a dharna outside the UGC literally we did not contact any politicians, we did not uh, contact any political parties, and we did not, uh, you know, uh, ask uh, big political leaders, so to speak, to come uh, to the issue. But there was a total media blackout, and uh, no one really picked up on the issue. And even though the issue had huge resonance among students in the country, we traveled physically across 16 to 17 campuses, uh, but there, there was an overall media blackout of the issue. Uh, however, with other issues, let's say when the suicide of Rohit Vemula or the institutional murder as we call it, or uh, the JNU sedition row took place, or Najib's disappearance took place, uh, we did consciously invite uh, politicians to be part of those uh, meetings, public meetings and protests, because uh, A, uh, there was, uh, you know, we wanted, uh, we wanted the media to cover it, we wanted mainstream parties to support it. The reason for that is because we found a very active involvement of the government, of the ruling party in that. And we, we saw how the police were being manipulated, how the university administrations are being compromised and politicized. And I would say that it's a counter-politicization. Ideally, we wouldn't want any politicians to come in. But it's when the ruling party politicians are actually interfering and rendering the police, you know, compromised in a sense, that is when we, you know, have to seek. So it's a less than ideal situation, but uh, I mean, I'd, I'd be curious to know what Sabika thinks of that. I uh, personally feel that student politics does not work in a vacuum. I mean, uh, in a national, uh, in a vacuum where uh, there is no effect of national politics that is happening over there. So uh, when we look at student politics, uh, we cannot ignore the fact that we expect those student politicians or leaders of the student movements uh, to be woke, to be aware, to be informed about uh, all of those, uh, 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 all the happening, whatever is happening in the political sphere outside their university because they are going to get affected by it. It is whether it is the policies or the conversation or the ideologies that are in place. So that is going to happen. Uh, secondly, it is important for uh, big political parties to have uh, the conversation with student leaders because we cannot forget the fact that these student leaders are going to feed to national politics and they are the ones who are going to go up there and become uh, leaders of the country and uh, you know hopefully <laughs> yes uh, in, an, in an ideal situation these are the ones the woke uh, leaders of uh, our universities will go and will be representing us in the parliament however I feel that a lot of times the space has is, is hijacked by uh, a lot of big names when it comes to having a conversation I mean uh, they, they need to be involved the ideologies need to be present but the problem is that they cannot take away the stage, the platform that is given to student leaders to have a conversation. Mm. You cannot expect, you know, some XYZ, a biggie, big politician from uh, any wing, right, left, whatever, to come and take away the space that is for the students to speak. I mean, if it is the students' dharna, I mean, 10 students are speaking and then one politician is speaking that is understood, but uh, when, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, only big names are speaking and student leaders are not speaking, then the space is taken away. So I feel that what needs to be established is that uh, student politics needs to happen because uh, a lot of times it is issue-based. I mean, uh, the politics that we've been involved in has always been very issue-based, like for example, about discrimination uh, that takes place in various forms on university campuses, national politics, etc., etc. So we do not want that space to be hijacked. So that is one thing that we need to be uh, very careful uh, there, There's another thing, there's uh, this issue of lack of nuance. I mean, what was it before? Like, if it's Rahul Gandhi, for example. Rahul Gandhi was not the first time Modi government. At that time, when Rahul Gandhi came to the campus, he was shown the college and asked him questions. There were many issues on the UPA government policies. But we can see that at that time, the JNU sedition issue happened, you have seen it in such a way that Z News has shown it, which way 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 Z News has shown it, which way
उस टाइम पे एक्चुअली हमने मतलब ऐसे ऐसे पॉलिटिशियंस को कैंपस में बुलाया या कैंपस में वो लोग आए हमने उनको सुना जिनको नॉर्मली वो कैंपस आते तो उनसे हम लोग बहुत सवाल पूछते तो ये भी एक प्रॉब्लम है मतलब जब एक तरफा अटैक जब सरकार की तरफ से आ रहा है उस टाइम पे इट्स लाइक वी आर फोर्स टू स्टिक टूगेदर हम लोगों को या आपस में भी इतना हमारा डिफरेंस होता है मतलब ये सबिका और मैं अभी अगर ये सब कुछ ये सारा कॉन्टेक्स नहीं होता हम लोग बहुत सारा डिफरेंट पोलिटिकल कॉन्वर्सेशन बहुत सारे डिफरेंसेज आपस में रख रहे होते समझना बहुत जरूरी है पॉलिटिक्स की बात करते हैं अभी तो मतलब अभी तो इस तरह से दिखाया जाता है कि जैसे अगर आप कहीं पे भी डिबेट में जाएंगे एक्चुअली यू आर स्पीकिंग फॉर द एंटायर लेफ्ट लाइक फ्रॉम माओ इज टू सी पी आई एम टू एवरी थिंग आई हैव टू स्पीक फॉर द एंटायर लेफ्ट लेकिन क्योंकि मतलब पहले तो हम लोग डिफरेंसेस को फ्लैश आउट करते थे कि सी ने ये क्यों किया सी ने ये क्यों किया माओ ने ऐसा क्यों किया लेकिन अभी तो मतलब इतना ज्यादा मतलब एक तरफा ये मतलब ब्रांडिंग अटैक जो इसको कह लीजिए हमारी तरफ से भी ऐसा जरूर होता होगा कि कोई भी कुछ कहे तो हम उसको कहते होंगे आप तो सरकार के एजेंट है आप तो रहे तो एक तरह से मिस अंडरस्टैंड पोलराइजेशन बहुत ज्यादा हाँ, उस तरह का बहुत ज्यादा लेबलिंग बहुत ज्यादा हो जाती है जिसकी वजह से अगर हम किसी भी एक लाइन के खिलाफ बोलते हैं किसी की भी आइडियोलॉजी के खिलाफ बोलते हैं हमें फॉरन लेबल कर दिया जाता है इफ द मोमेंट आई स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग अगेंस्ट बॉट द राइट विंग पॉलिटिशियन स्टूडेंट लीडर्स आर डूइंग आई एम एब्सोल्यूटली अ लेफ्ट और यू नो अ सोल्ड आउट लेफ्ट और अ कॉमी और वो इफ आई एम स्पीकिंग अगेन द कॉमन अगेंस्ट द कॉमन इज दैन आई बिकम अ भक्त विच इज अ वेरी प्रॉब्लमैटिक डिस्कॉस इन इट सेल्फ एंड वी रियली नीड्स टू क्वेश्चन दैट क्योंकि हमारी स्टूडेंट वॉइसिस जो है हमें ये चीज देखनी चाहिए पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ नॉन अफिलियेशन इज नॉट इक्वल न्यूट्रलिटी ऑफ टाइम्स तो हमारी इमीडिएट आइडेंटिटी भी बहुत बार इट प्लेज बिकॉज वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वुमेन आई थिंक इट इज वेरी एसेंशियल बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स वी एज वुमेन आर स्पेस आर टेकन अवे बाय मैन बिलोंगिंग टू बोथ राइट एंड लेफ्ट नो लेस मिस ऑर्जन इज बोथ साइड आई मीन आई सल्यूट द वुमेन हु आर गोइंग टू स्पीक हिर फ्रॉम द राइट विंग एज वेल एज शेला बिकॉज दे हैव बैटल द मिस ऑर्जन इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पोलिटिक्स ऑफ मैन टू कम एंड मेक अ मार्क इन पोलिटिक्स ऑफ अफिलियेशन विच इज लाइक which is really you know at uh, at the end of the last year uh, this is exactly what i wrote in an article uh, where i uh, was trying to say that you know this polarization of left and right that has taken place it has actually uh, it has made gender issues suffer the most because yes. on gender issues nothing moves nothing moves not even an inch until the right and left and center and everyone in between comes together i mean for example for rape law reform you yes. like women across parties have i mean 16 december movement is a prime example of that all of us came together to demand the justice varma committee just to to demand a criminal law reform and uh, that space has really suffered i mean in the last year the entire discussion has been on proving one's nationalism mm-hmm. and proving that one is not a, a right wing or anything but there are no discussions on lgbt issues there yes, are no discussions on absolutely. marital rape yeah. on acid attacks there was no discussion last and year unless we are under an umbrella hamare baaton ka koi matlab hi nahi reh jata hai matlab hum kisi umbrella mein ho ya kisi aisi political party se associated ho jo ye sari baat cheet kar rahi hai tabhi hamari awaaz mane rakhti hai agar hum us binary se bahar baat kar rahe hain our voice doesn't count which is a huge problem Hmm. I mean, uh, we need to question that because we need to get out of the political spectrum that has been created by, uh, you know, the gurus of uh, our country, and we need to get out of that spectrum. Shila, what hmm. can we expect from the uh, conclave stage? What to expect from your session? Well, uh, I don't know how much time we'll get, but I hope to put some views across uh, which have been very misunderstood, and I would say that. Uh, you know we we want we would like to create some space or appeal to create a space for debate how about you uh i think we are going to i mean when you're going to hear the panel you're going to hear brilliant women speak i mean shaila and uh, janvi and vardhan everyone people women who are working on ground and are directly involved in politics also you would also get to get a tinge of how masculine politics works and how the emulation of this masculine politics is present in uh, women themselves a lot of times so wo ek cheez hai jo i think thank you so much both of you thank you bahut bahut dhanyawad